first time I saw him, I was nine and a half. His infernal majesty in all his ridiculousness. And I said to him in my childish voice, Fuck off! It was a while before I saw him again. Thursday afternoon, in fact, and I hated Thursday afternoons. So I decided to take the afternoon off. to him the words, fuck off. The next time I saw the devil was a few months later during a history exam. There I was trying to think which year it was that Hitler became Chancellor. just stood there playing the demo, all smug-like. It was distracting, and I was furious, so I shouted to him, Fuck off! <laughs> Weeks went by and the devil wasn't fucking off anytime soon. You're not supposed to actually see the devil. I was stressed to say the least, but I had no place with the bad kids. Before I could say, here, fuck off. He handed me his pitchfork. I was summoned to the head teacher's office within five minutes, and the devil came with me. I noticed now he was wearing a suit. Well, what are you fucking 
what? The devil spoke before I could. The boy with the pitchfork, ma'am. Here to see you. Yeah? And who in hell are you? Anton Smolder, ma'am. I'm acting as the boy's guardian. <laughs> well, a fine role model you are. Giving the boy a pitchfork to play about with. Ah, an accident, I assure you, ma'am. The boy was supposed to be doing chores. However, there seems to have... Well, you were saying? There seems to have been a misunderstanding. How? While the boy was in possession of the pitchfork, it appears he was confronted by a number of other boys. What are you suggesting, Mr. Um... Smolder, ma'am. Is he... Are you suggesting that there is bullying going on at my school? You little bastard! How dare you! Don't you know I can make your life a living hell, you little bit? Hang on. What was that? As for me, I would have told them both to fuck off, but I was done, so I just sat there, all still, and said nothing. <laughs> Yeah.